So uh, this time we are talking about interactive lessons and courses of Ukrainian language. Mostly I found you the free ones. So uh, some of them require prior Ukrainian language knowledge, some not. So let's find out more. Um, the link to this spreadsheet you'll, you can find in the description uh, to the video. Um, and if you have any questions, you can, you can write them. Uh, I'll be happy to answer on them. And if you have any suggestions or from your experience, you use some other courses on or interactive lessons websites, please share them with me. I will add them here to this spreadsheet. So let's start with LingoHut, free Ukrainian language uh, lessons. Um, it's good for the complete beginners, uh, though it has a lot of lessons. Like, poo, 125. Uh, the things I like and I don't like. Well, probably it's about like intermediate uh, level. And you can listen to these phrases, you can read them. There is every, all explanations are in English. And you can play the games. Like here it's games, flashcards. Uh, vocabulary lesson, matching game, tic-tac-toe, listening game, concentration game. And if you will get all these lessons practiced with all the games, well, you will be speaking Ukrainian quite good. So, and you will be able to come to my city and challenge me with some Ukrainian. Um, the next one, and it's completely free, of course. So learning UA. I found what well, it's a paid one, so there is no free stuff here. And I found it in everything here. It, all the interface is in Ukrainian, but I found it's quite nice for maybe for the cases when you have a kid that you want to speak Ukrainian and you you want to find some very structured materials uh, to f to follow with your kid. Then it's quite nice uh, resource very very useful materials well they offer some well, like you can see how that look like what's going on here for free there is some gamification like coins etc it's on time that's a nice thing in the case but for only maybe for that particular case just my opinion uh, next one is webpancom ua this is a resource that probably would be helpful for intermediate and higher uh, Ukrainian students because it contains different exercises for writing based on different grammar rules um, and to topics of a language. And everything, all the interfaces in Ukrainian and then like... Uh, all the exercises would be in Ukrainian too. Here would be some explanation also in Ukrainian, then some spreadsheets like tables, how to conjugate, uh, a lot of things. And usually down here will be some exercises. Um, and it will give you an example like, oh, correct or not correct. Yep. So quite nice website for practicing writing. Next one, um, Ukormova in UA. That's a quite uh, remarkable resource. So, Ukrainska mova, Ukrainska mova vilnych людей. So, Ukrainian is the language of a free people. So, if you want to join a free people club, start learning Ukrainian. And, well, this website will give you, um, it has library always different topics here um, and uh, synonyms and not synonyms for kids. Yeah, it uses tongue, <laughs> uh, stresses and typical mistakes we do when we pronounce for example 
Reshetov, we can say it that way, it will be like more popular, like Russian uh, example. So then they have exercises, but all, everything will be in Ukrainian. Yeah, so you probably have to read, uh, already read at least in Ukrainian. And yeah, and you see like one of the most popular is 62,000 times was done. Uh, blog and they have three, yeah, three dictations, but you have to register. But that will be for free anyway. Um, and uh, spell check too. So I recommend this resource when you already know something, you know alphabet, you can read and you, and you want to move further. That would be good for you. Um, next one. Yeah, sure. Probably everybody know about this website. And I found it, well, quite good to start. So from the absolute beginner up to the first like A2, I guess, or at least like B1, then it will be a, a good thing to follow. And I found that, well, it's good to practice here because you can install it on your mobile phone and embed this activity into your daily routine. It's like to have 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening, practicing uh, of Ukrainian language using Duolingo. Well, their website is pretty explanatory. Uh, if you haven't tried it yet, uh, they have a free version. And especially if you will run that on a desktop, it uh, doesn't have some limitation than it has in a free version on mobile. That's a well kind of a tricky thing. Uh, next, next one is oh, should um, Peace Corp uh, lessons. Uh, quite specific thing, but I found them pretty useful. Um, they could fit for the beginners. If you want to just start learning a language, then it's useful because it contains all the just necessary uh, vocabulary and phrases that you need to learn. And for every lesson, it has a audio here. So uh, you can, <clears throat> it has audio, so you can actually listen uh, to what is written here because, and, and to hear the example, how it should sound. For example, lesson two, here, here is lesson two. that uh -huh. letter G. that letter G. D. D. and you can practice that up to the point when you remember that and and only then continue with other resources so uh, next one So, um, Ukrainian world, uh, Ukrainian in 27 lessons. Ukrainska za 27 uroків. Well, this course is aimed for people that can already speak Ukrainian. At least they should be able to read Ukrainian. Because in initial audience for this course is Russian-speaking Ukrainians. Uh, that want to switch completely to Ukrainian or and they need uh, to study Ukrainian as well as a second language and another language because not all the Ukrainians can speak Ukrainian well unfortunately but you can use this course as well because it's a for the um, like beginners because it starts with alpha V so alphabet and then Vimova Holosnik Zvukiv, so pronunciation of uh, vowels, pronunciation of consonants, uh, acquaintance, or what's your name, and all the basic topics like my family, my profession, body parts, uh, clothes, uh, house, transport, tr travel, hobby, Ukrainian nature. That's nice. And how that look like? Um, we can open to open the course you it's a it's completely free you have just to register and then find this course in the 
courses page so that's all and then you enroll and you can open all these lessons so природа like ukrainian nature here will be like a video zavdanya like a task then test to check your knowledge and additional resources so video lesson look like this oh ah and what we have here so different herbs actually what's nice is that all these audios they are followed by a script so if you already can read ukrainian you can listen to a video and read here and if you do not understand something the lecturer said you can just find it that here and translate on google yep so then the task then a test and tricky yeah good and additional resources so vocabularies for theory uh, red book of ukraine for practice different books uh, oh traveling across ukraine from the bbc nice so you see you can not only find some uh, new ukrainian language knowledge but explore ukraine as well so all that you can find here on this course ukrainian in 27 lessons the next one uh, ukrainian like 22 lessons to language confidence it's basically it created uh, for by the same authors and um it follows it continues this previous course and this one is for b1 b2 b1 b2 and uh, higher um, ukrainian students so you already have to speak and read ukrainian pretty good to be able to understand these topics because these are quite advanced it's not about the language more rather than like on usage of a language and uh, so for the proficient uh, students it's nice uh, resource then probably it's good to know a history of a country of a language you are learning so on udemy free short one but a nice one uh, ukrainian history culture and identities course you can enroll and explore ukrainian history here next one is well designed course for i guess like for also b1 b2 students that can already speak read understand some concepts and their vocabulary is already advanced ones because this topic's about the culture of ukraine uh about the christmas for example and what to do how christmas customs changed how we celebrated christmas what are the things we do on christmas and what do you need for ukrainian christmas uh so to get here you you have to know ukrainian already but you can help yourself with other resources uh, for the beginners and so of course of course like some tutor and the next one ah, and yeah and this previous one uh for, it's also free so and the last one in this section so ukrainian language it starts from the absolute beginning but all the content is in ukrainian so you have to read ukrainian already um that's free you just register and enroll like find this course on the website and enroll that's all that's all for courses um hope it will help you to find some uh, useful resources uh, to start or continue learning ukrainian and if 
I'll, I'll repeat that if you have any um, resources you would like to recommend me to add to the spreadsheet, just please write them here or write me directly um, on YouTube on, in the About section. That will be my contacts. So feel free to contact me. Uh, good luck.